Boris Johnson hit back at Jurgen Klopp today after the Liverpool manager said fans wouldn't boo the national anthem without reason. Ahead of Saturday's FA Cup final boos could be heard ringing out after a minority of fans jeered as the national anthem was sung. Similar disapproval were then repeated as Prince William, who is also chair of the Football Association, shook hands with players. A number of obscene hand gestures were also made during the incident. The protest sparked a backlash with fans shamed for the sign of disrespect towards the 96-year-old Queen. However, Klopp defended those who booed saying this morning, they wouldn't do it without a reason. The majority of our support are wonderful people. They wouldn't do it there was no reason. I've not been here long enough to understand the reason for it, it's for sure something historical, and that's probably questions you can answer much better than I could ever. The majority of our supporters are wonderful people. Really smart, go through lows and highs. They wouldn't do it without reason. Rejecting the remarks today, the Prime Minister's official spokesman said there was never a good excuse for booing the national anthem and the jeers ahead of the football match were a great shame. He said, obviously what happened over the weekend, it was a great shame that as we were marking 100 years of the FA Cup bringing people together. A small minority chose to act like that. Common Speaker Sir Lindsay Hoyle also blasted the actions, saying in a statement over the weekend, I utterly condemn any fans who booed Prince William at Wembley today. The FA Cup final should be an occasion when we come together as a country. It should not be ruined by a minority of fans' totally shameful behavior. In this year of all years, the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, this is dreadful. Former Culture Secretary Karen Bradley added, It is utterly unacceptable and disgraceful that fans booed Prince William. I would urge the FA to take all necessary action and pursue those responsible.